And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. What a joy it is having you come into our space here where we can minister the Word of God to you. And we're coming to you today with a message that has been preached somewhere around the world. Something like Santiago. I don't know where he is. I just pray that you'll be blessed, inspired, healed, delivered, set free, fear gone, faith arise, and that you will receive today from this preached word just what you need. Thank you so much for being here. Amen. I, I'm so glad to be here today. And in that day shall ye say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to be here today. Uh, it's a joy to be here. I'm going to let you sit down in a minute, and then you'll stand back up for the reading of the word. But uh, I, I want to say to you, it was years ago, I, I don't know how many, that I went to a church in Charlotte's uh, Charleston, West Virginia. And I, I don't think it was as large as this building, but the pastor at that time was T.D. Jakes, Bishop T.D. Jakes. And I said to that congregation, that the day is coming that this man that you have as pastor will be known throughout the United States. I didn't say throughout the world, I said throughout the United States. And I began to pro pro uh, prophetically declare some of the things that he would be doing, and I left. He became friends of mine, and uh, we grew up through the years, traveled together to Africa and various places. And it just mystified me how God took him and He's become the T.D. Jakes that you know him to be now, but I know, knew him when he was in a church not as large as this. I say that to say that since that time, I have not met another person, in my opinion, that uh, equals that kind of prophetic pronunciation until I met your pastor. <laughs> this young man has phenomenal potential. Um, and I think he gave you the key to what was the key to my appreciation of him is that whenever he was around, he never, ever, ever, ever pushed himself to be or to be accepted by anything, anybody. He would always come to serve Bishop Clark and sat quietly somewhere in a corner, never opening his mouth. It was a long time before I even knew he had a voice because that's the kind of person he was. It was that that attracted me to him. I believe in humility. I think humility will get you places that exaltation won't, self-exaltation. And what I'm saying to you is I, I think you have one of the finest young men, in my opinion, that you could ever have as a pastor of your church. It's an opinion, but maybe you can put some weight in my opinion because last year I celebrated my 70th year in the ministry. I preached all over this nation, I preached around the world, and so I think being in the ministry 70, 70, not 17, 70 years provides me a little bit of credibility. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, this is the only church that I have left my churches to be in on, on Sunday. 
It seems very strange to be out of the pulpit. And so therefore, I'm just glad to be here. Now you can be seated after you give your pastor and his wife. Behind every good man, there's a better woman. And I do honor the both of you, and I honor this congregation. You can be seated. Get your breath for a second. Can I, can I just be me? You know, all these lights and things, that scares me. I mean, Jesus have mercy. What are you doing with these lights? Taping me? Videoing me? What, what? I mean, I don't know what y'all doing. I, I can't see? The lights are blinding? I just, I just want to come out here. That's right. That, that camera is good enough. Take, take, take that. Y'all put that on the screen. I, I, it, it was crazy that I got up this morning and the Lord says, I want you to sit down and calculate what I've done for you this year financially. <laughs> I said, okay. When I got through calculating, the Lord said to me, now you, you, you have spent 70 years going out and giving now this is your season that giving will come to you and you won't have to leave home. Oh, where's the birthday lady? Right here. Now you, you whisper in my ear and tell me how old you are so I can give you a birthday present today. carry money with me and a lot of it so the thieves can know I told the Lord I want to spend the last of my days giving so in order to give I have to have it isn't that right you the church mother you the church mother Anybody else want some? Okay, that's my thought. All right. And so I woke up this morning and the Lord said, calculate what I've done for you this year. And the calculation would mean how much money has come to you and you didn't leave home. That's what it meant to me. And so I started putting all together what the Lord had done for me just this year up to today. And Elder Chester Banks, yeah, I, I just want to make sure I had the first word right, the first name right. Up to today, up to today, and I haven't left home. Money has come to my house, to my account. You, you would like to know this, because I see you into some kind of money, some, doing something, something with some money. Okay. Yes. 
there's another level for you that you've been trying to go through for a while. It's like you've gone up to a ceiling and you can't break through. But today, today, Don't, 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 don't y'all praise too much. Y'all taking up my time. Okay, don't praise too much then. Because y'all want to be out of here and uh, you're going to say, I kept you in church. When it was your praising that kept you in church because y'all was taking up all my time. All right. But if you do what God says do today, it's going to be a breakthrough. Who are you? Okay. I want to be sure. Because it's been something that you've been urging him to do, pushing him to do, and it hasn't taken hold yet. And God's getting ready to honor. Thank you so much for tuning in to us. And I pray that you have been blessed and inspired, delivered, set free, and healed. If you have been, why don't you sit down and send your gift to us, $22. That's what I'm asking you to give. That will denote what God is going to do in your life for the rest of this year. Be blessed. Hopefully we'll see you on tomorrow.